Hello everyone. Welcome back to SVV channel. So, in our last session, we had studied about what are microorganisms, what are the different types of microorganisms and where they are found. Now, in this session, we are going to study about the friendly microorganisms. There are so many microorganisms which are used in our day-to-day -day life and which you are not even aware about. So, let's get started then. So, students, initially, it was thought that all the microorganisms are harmful and cause diseases. Later on, scientists discovered that only a handful of microorganisms are harmful and cause diseases. Most of the microorganisms are harmless and some of the microorganisms are even beneficial to us. And in this video, we are going to study about those beneficial or friendly microorganisms. So we are going to start with the making of curd. Milk is turned into curd by a bacteria known as lactobacillus. Milk contains a sugar called lactose. Lactobacillus bacteria converts lactose sugar into lactic acid. This lactic acid then converts milk into curd. And as you all know, curd is so very much well used by all of us in so many different ways. Next is the making of bread. Yeast is used in the baking industry for making bread. When yeast is mixed in dough for making bread, the yeast reproduces rapidly and gives out carbon dioxide gas during respiration. The bubbles of carbon dioxide gas fills the dough and increases its volume. This makes the bread rise. Yeast is also very commercially used for the large scale production of alcohol and acetic acid, that is, vinegar. Yeast is capable of converting sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The process of conversion of sugar into alcohol by the action of yeast is called fermentation. Fermentation was discovered by Louis Pasteur in 1850. So students, there are so many medicinal use of microorganisms as well. A medicine which stops the growth of or kills the disease causing a microorganism is called antibiotic. I know you all have heard about this term so commonly. So let us study into this. So, the first antibiotic, penicillin, was discovered by chance and extracted from the tiny fungus known as a penicillium. This happened as in 1929, Alexander Fleming was cultivating a culture of the disease-causing bacteria. Suddenly, he found the spores of a little green fungus in one of his culture plates. He noticed that the presence of tiny green fungus stopped the growth of disease-causing bacteria. In fact, it also killed many of the disease-causing bacteria. From this fungus called penicillium, antibiotic was made of the same name, that is penicillin. Antibiotics are used to treat many diseases in humans. Whenever we fall ill, the doctor may give us some antibiotic tablets, capsules or injections. So, antibiotics are found very effective in curing disease caused by microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. But, they are however not effective against the diseases caused by viruses. Next, we are going to study about vaccines. Yes, we all have very much heard about vaccine and we have all very much awaited that finally the vaccine of COVID would be available. But right now, let us discuss only about vaccine and how it works. So students, a vaccine is a special kind of preparation which provides immunity against a particular disease. Vaccines are given to healthy persons so that they may not get certain diseases throughout their life. A vaccine actually contains the dead or weakened 
but alive microorganisms of a disease when the vaccine containing dead or alive microorganism is introduced into the body of a healthy person orally or by injection the body of that person responds by producing some substances called antibiotics in its blood these antibodies kill any alive disease causing microorganisms present in the vaccine some of the antibodies remain in the blood of the persons for a very long time and fight against the same microorganism and kill them if they happen to enter the body naturally or at a later rate so due to the presence of antibodies in the blood a person remains protected from that particular disease thus a vaccine develops the immunity from a disease a number of disease can be prevented by vaccination so overall if i want to define vaccination so vaccination is a process of giving a vaccine orally by mouth or by injection which provides protection against a particular disease edward jenner discovered the vaccine for smallpox in 1798 and we hope that we discover the vaccine of covid-19 in the near coming days of of 2020 now students let us see that there are certain microorganisms which helps in the increasing of soil fertility some of the microorganisms present in the soil can fix nitrogen gas from the atmosphere to form nitrogen compounds these nitrogen compounds mix with the soil and increases the fertility of soil for example some bacteria and blue green algae are able to fix nitrogen gas from the atmosphere to enrich the soil with nitrogen compounds and increase its fertility rhizobium bacteria is one such bacteria which is present in the root nodules of leguminous plants which fixes the atmospheric nitrogen and increases the soil fertility now students some microorganisms like certain bacteria and fungi decompose the organic matter present in dead plants dead animals animal waste and convert them into simple substances which mix up with the soil these simple substances contain plant nutrients which are again used by new plants for their growth microorganisms which decompose the harmful and smelly dead remains of plants and animals and animal waste into harmful materials are therefore known as decomposers and hence they clean the environment in addition to cleaning the environment the microorganisms also help in recycling the nutrients which is present in the dead plants and dead animals and its waste in nature which can then be used as food by green plants so students you saw that there are so many beneficial microorganisms now in our next segment we are going to learn that there are even harmful microorganisms or the disease causing microorganisms so students i hope you understood that what this whole video was about that is the friendly microorganisms and their applications which are so many a uh, fun fact about microorganism do you know that there are even bacteria which are present in our body inside our gut which are helpful to us there is this probiotic yogurt available and so many different probiotic drinks available in the market i uh, i think so that you have heard about it yakult okay even probiotic curd so um, these all products are actually useful to us okay so after this video you will get some questions for your assignment and i hope that you do that in our next video we are going to cover about the topic of pathogenic microorganisms that is a harmful microorganisms till then stay home stay safe so students these are your some of the assignment questions definition of antibiotic vaccination and fermentation how is milk converted into curd the name of the scientist who discovered fermentation and what is vaccine and how does it work and i hope that you all are completing your homework on time 
stay home stay safe thank you everyone